Hey guys, what's up? So tonight I'm starting on a road trip to Malwan uh, on my bike, Yamaha FZ. So it's around 8 o'clock right now and probably I should be starting around 12 because I just have two days off and I need to cover as much as footage so that I make a lovely film for you guys and uh, for that I will need much as much of the sunlight so I thought might as well spend my time riding in the night and use my day use the day for uh, shooting the footages hope you can see this my leather jackets helmet gloves my cloths the trekking bag some pouches to pack it uh, my jackets I'm carrying both of them like the mesh and the leather since it's it's cold out here and in Malwan it's gonna be much more more colder than this place if you can see this my boots this this boots are gonna uh, is what I'm gonna be wearing and uh, here are the champions charging if you can see can I get a little bit closer you can see that this is the remote for uh, drone and these are the batteries so those are charging up and one pair of crocs that i'm going to be carrying along here's my case and tripod i might catch up on some sleep i really recommend you guys don't do this because uh, i basically always prefer to have a good amount of sleep before i start riding uh, because you really need that uh, but since the conditions are such right now i really don't have uh, that much of time to you know sleep and then uh, go ahead because of my you know other plans as well so yeah that's that's about it for now i'll see you guys soon and then update you as we go further we are ready that is vishal Hi. Uh, and this is our bikes so this is yamaha fz all set if you can see and that is royal enfield thunderbird hi guys we have reached the taloja toll plaza it's around like 22 kilometers from where we started and the roads are really very bad. We have reached Patkar Naka toll plaza. It's almost like 45-50 kilometers away from Thane now and uh, we are still wondering when we would get like some good roads to cruise around. So basically we took, a, took the old uh, Pune Mumbai highway NH48. So that's the reason why we are stuck among these lorries and we are not able to get some nice uh, ride yet. It's 5.15 now and uh, we're almost like uh, 20 kilometers away from Pune. I was running out of gas so I just uh, tanked up. So Vishal has also done the same. And uh, now we'll be heading back on a journey. So after this I'll directly get in touch when I'm in Pune. Alright. Hi guys. Uh, we have reached somewhere in Paid. And it's 6.24 in the morning, we're taking a coffee break. We've already crossed Pune and now we're heading towards Satara and Satara is like almost uh, another 80, 80 km from here, Satara. So another 80 km from here, Satara and then from there we will be aiming for Kolhapur and then we head to Tawandi. So Tawandi is a place in Karnatak. Uh, so basically we'll be entering Karnataka and then exiting uh, Karnataka to reach Konkan. So that is like a easier route and like you know it's, it's, it's more like a, a better road or better approach to the place. So that's why we're taking that, kind of, that route because uh, the interior roads are not that great and I am really not uh, impressed by these either. Hi guys, it's 30 minutes past 9 and we have uh, taken a break for uh, grabbing something and we just altered Yash Garden uh, to tell you about the roads the roads just got better after Pune so the Pune to Satara ride we will like we, we try to you know like manage to pick up some speed and cover our uh, lost time in approaching towards Pune so uh, from here it shows like two hours uh, to Tawandi Hey guys, 
guys. So finally we've come to Tawandi. So uh, this is situated right on NH48. Uh, so there's a village called Nipani. So once you cross Nipani, like around after four kilometers, you enter Tawandi, and uh, you will see a right from the highway. So this is where the right leads to, and this is how Tawandi looks as of now. This is just the starting bit. So probably I'm expecting more uh, majestic views, awesome views going forward. So that's it for now. guys so this is how we look after 15 hours of riding and finally we have reached our destination that is Ta -da! the one in the middle the red arrow that says Zuri homestay that is where exactly we were coming to and after 15 hours of riding we are really craving for some rest and some Malwani fish What's up? 
last evening after reaching uh, Duri Homestays, we decided to call it a day. So now we're starting uh, to uh, Deva Beach, and this is uh, via Kudal Vengurla Road. Okay, uh, I will try to show the maps uh, in the video itself. Uh, but basically, I'll just give you an overview. Like from Kudal Vengurla Road, we took a left uh, after Pinguli Lake. So once you take the left, this is the road which leads to uh, Devbag. So basically, there is another coastal road which uh, goes uh, connects all the different beaches on the belt. I mean, uh, along the belt. But the problem is the coastal road is not in a good condition right now uh, to even go walking. That's what the locals say. I, but I personally feel that. Uh, uh, I would go and you know like uh, uh, take a look when I'm on the on my way back. But right now I don't want to waste my time uh, doing my research. So that's why I thought I'll take the safer option. We'll be covering other beaches along the way. Uh, right now Tarkarli is on my mind and Sindhudurg, and uh, there are other beaches uh, which falls onto the opposite side. Uh, so it really depends on how much time we will get because last day as I said like you know we spent it all on riding uh, like we spent around 15 hours of 15 hours on riding uh, from Mumbai to this place so that's where we lost in a lot of time and we just have this day and probably by tomorrow we will try to cover like you know two three hours of footage uh, before we leave from here so might as well uh, you know we might as well try our luck tomorrow. We would be reaching Devbag in another 5 minutes and this is how the roads look which approaches to Devbag you can see Hey guys, uh, we have reached Devbag and along with Mr. Tukaram and Vishal, I'm heading to uh, see a few points. So, uh, to tell you about this uh, place, uh, we, are, we are coming to now a place called Seagull Island. You can see this. That's that's an island just near to uh, yeah this one. So this is near to De Devbag Beach and uh, this is called Seagull Island. And then we will be approaching one more island uh, in our power points which is on the back that is called Tsunami Island which was formed in 2004. So uh, when the tsunami hit down the south uh, that's when it was formed. So that's what the locals say here. So we will be visiting that as well. Seagulls basically sit in this island that has been tradition for uh, quite few years now but the problem is because of the oncoming visitors uh, they sit there you know like down there so when the visitors come here according to the local uh, guys they tend to run and disturb those birds because of which now apparently they have vanished as in they don't come here quite often when especially when the people when people are around I 
हरदर वाला यहाँ से काट के Hi guys, uh, we have reached Bogwe Beach. It's five in the evening. We've covered a couple of places since morning, like Devbag Beach, uh, Seagull Island, Tsunami Island. Then we went to Tarkarli Beach, uh, and now we've come to Bogwe. So Bogwe is like around 40-50 kilometers odd from that section, as in Tarkarli Malwan section. We've come here now and we're walking to a place uh, which is much more cleaner and uh, where I could get like better photographs and videography for those kind of stuff. So I'm walking there. It's, it's probably a 20 minutes walk from the initial section. That's the starting point of the beach. Uh, and the initial section to let you know is, is a bit uh, not clean. Uh, I mean spread around with uh, plastic bottles and all those, all of those stuff. So you might not be having a pleasant time out there, but if you walk, if you take the stress to walk like 20 minutes from there, you will reach to a good point, uh, and there you can enjoy better. That's what I would say. What I would say. But again, if you are going there, don't try to you know like spread things around as in throwing bottles. Just ensure that you carry what you what you bought from home, and if you eat something, ensure you are putting up in your plastic bag and carrying it away from this place. Because at the end of the day, you are coming here to have a good time, and Obviously, all of us want to be a, want want to live in a clean environment and relax in a clean environment most of all, and that's why we come here, right? So yeah, that is it, and uh, that was enough of Gyan for now. And uh, I will tell you about this beach. So the best part of this beach is uh, this thing. You see this? No, not not Vishal. I mean the mountains. So the mountains are spread across just opposite to the beach so that is that for me according to me is the best part and then opposite to it is the beautiful beach
unfortunately phone hey guys just reached the homestay just got freshened up and getting ready for dinner now uh the ride back was uh one hell of experience i will let you know in some time uh about that uh but before it like um uh, so prashant is ready with dinner so i don't want to keep him waiting now i'll just show you what kind of food he serves here जी आप आप बताइए कि आपको याद कैसे था कि मैं दो साल पहले मैं आके गया और आपको स्पाइसी फूड मुझे पसंद है ये कैसे याद था अरे इतना वैसे तो आप तो स्पेशल गेस्ट है सच बोलो तो मेरे वेबसाइट बनाने के बाद आप पहले गेस्ट मेरे थे तो आप मेरे ध्यान मेरे जैसे कि खाना स्पाइसी चाहिए या आप नॉन वेजिटेरियन प्रिफर करते हैं ये सब मुझे याद था ओके आई विल रियली सजेस्ट ऑल यू गाइस टू गो विजिट हिज वेबसाइट यू विल कम टू नो व्हाट काइंड ऑफ रूम्स ही हैज और लाइक व्हाट काइंड ऑफ प्लेस ही हैज एंड आई एम रियली श्योर दैट यू ऑल विल हैव अ लवली टाइम स्पेंडिंग हियर ऑल्सो अबाउट द रेस्ट ऑफ द प्लेस वी विल डिस्कस लेटर बट दिस प्लेस इज लाइक अमेजिंगली ब्यूटीफुल सो यू शुड यू शुड ऑल शुड कम हियर वंस एंड लाइक हैव अ लवली टाइम learn to say no to the good so you can say yes to the best you know what's good a secure life is good a secure job is good in fact all that puts us in a comfort zone is good but as they say life begins only at the end of the comfort zone it's like a walk on the beach where you keep collecting your moments and shells but we never stop at one cuz life is to move move no matter what Hey guys as you can see we are uh, heading home now we are just uh, we just start packing and uh, we have had an amazing time here in malwan uh, we just went this morning we went to vengurla and had like an amazing time at the beach uh, and the surroundings are very beautiful the nature looks so pleasant over here uh, you all should come here once and like have an to have an amazing time and uh, the best part is for people who are from mumbai it's just a day you know weekend trip for you so it's not much you know like to travel or something like that because uh, we me and vishal left on uh, what tuesday and we spent our wednesday here and today is thursday we live in so that's how it works so you, you can either choose your weekends or any anything which is comfortable for you 
and uh, on behalf of turn trails like me and uh, uh, vishal would like to thank mr prashant for being such a wonderful host he has been cooperative right from day one waiting for us you know like when we can reached here late uh, providing us like hot home home homemade food and uh, then ensuring that we have a pleasant stay over here ensuring the uh, beds are clean the bathrooms were clean providing us hot water to take bath which was like a relief personally for me so i would really uh, and uh, you know like vouch for this guy over here because he is really a genuine person i'm not saying this for the video i'm really i really mean it so uh, i would i as you must have seen in the video already uh, the, this place is actually very beautiful the rooms and all are very clean and very uh, you know the theme it is very much earthy it's it's basically giving you a feel uh, of of a village and uh, which takes you into the nature you know when being in a city like you know being in our in our cubicles like home we we come to this kind of place and we realize what we were missing all this all this while so that that makes this stay very uh, you know a, a, an enriching experience and in all it was like an amazing time over here so i i guess like you guys would want to have the same whenever you get time to host aapka aabhar thank you Hi guys, welcome back. So uh, we have reached a point where we need to take a left to Kolhapur, and uh, we are on our way. As as I told you before, we are on our way back to Mumbai, and we've just crossed the Amboli stretch, which is like 33 kilometers odd. And now we are at the point where you see the board, Kolhapur. So what we are doing here is we're not going straight to Belgaum and then connecting Tandvi, which is in Mar Karnataka. Instead, we're taking a new route. to approach maharashtra via kolhapur so that would save us some time and also we want to explore new routes because the route which we came to uh, which we took to come to malwan was not something we were uh, like you know really <laughs> impressed with so uh, that's why we're taking this new route and that is hajra 26 km from here and from there we will connect to kolhapur and that's why we are going to take it forward let's see how it goes So we are 
one kilometer away from Ajra and uh, right now we are taking a situational pit stop and our apple brick. So the situational pit stop is because we ran out of space of our GoPro and uh, we are copying the data in the laptop right now. So we make more space for the footage that we are going to cover in the uh, path ahead. So that's it for now. We were going to take a break, eat some apples and some other uh, nuts that you've got. So keep it going till evening because we are planning to take the next break uh, once we reach NH48 because we are already running out of daytime and uh, if we lose sunlight then it would become much more difficult for us to reach on time and we are planning to reach Thane uh, this evening as in this the before midnight. Beside NS48 now, so uh, instead of taking the route from Ajira to Kolapur, uh, we took the route from Ajira to Nepani. So it connects us to Nepani Highway, and why we did that is for two reasons. One, uh, it takes us to the highway faster, which helps us reach Mumbai faster because the roads are better. And uh, roads are better was the second reason, by the way. So uh, that's why we did that, and now we should be there in Kolapur in the next 40 50 minutes. Uh, so see you there. Hey guys, it's 8 o'clock uh, <coughs> right now and uh, we are like 200 kilometers away from Pune. We just crossed Kolhapur and we found this amazing hotel called uh, Hotel Tulsi which uh, serves like amazing food uh, at very affordable prices. So I think you guys should try it whenever you're here and uh, it is really awesome. So you should just like try it out. And now uh, about heading home. Mm, I'm, <clears throat> this might be might turn out to be the last log of this uh, uh, travel so probably I would see you when once I get home uh, because I really want to start speeding up right now because uh, we need to reach home as soon as possible so that we get ample rest and get started for tomorrow uh, th so that's the plan right now so probably I will see you once I reach home thank you so much for being a part of this journey and uh, do not forget that is for the next video. <laughs> pleasant one but right now we are really 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 very tired and I really need to hit the sack so uh, tomorrow morning we will take the last talk I'm thinking uh, and we'll discuss it then and there for uh, all the stuff and uh, so yeah that's it for now uh, good night uh, see you people see you tomorrow morning hi guys I will make this vlog because it is very energy in my room sorry for that so uh i just got up and like um, as i said like uh, this would be the last log for uh, the video i hope you guys had uh, a lovely time watching this film and thank you so much for being patient with my uh, stupidities and everything mm. uh, you guys have an amazing time take care of yourself keep exploring keep learning and that's a way to go about it my friends 
uh, let me know where I can improve in my videos um, हाँ अगले बार उठ के करूँगा एक बार जान दो यार प्लीज तो दैट्स दैट्स अबाउट इट एंड Oh, what else? What else? Yeah, there was one thing which I want to tell you. So basically, me and Vishal, when we were staying in Vingurla, so uh, in the night while coming back from Bhogavi Beach, there was this crazy experience that happened. So uh, Google showed us a route uh, which uh, took us via coastal, and uh, Mr. Prashant, as in the person with whom I was staying, he told me uh, strictly not to take that route because it was not that great. But me being me, सुलेमानी किड है अपने में तो हम लोग गए वी टू का राइट विच वी आर नॉट सपोज टू एंड दैट राइट वॉज सपोज टू बी द शॉर्ट कट और शॉर्ट कट भी रात के टाइम में एंड अपेरेंटली भोगा वे आई मीन मालवन इज लाइक अ स्मॉल टाउन सो स्मॉल टाउन इन टर्म्स ऑफ इट्स इट्स नॉट दैट यू नो लाइक city city big city types where you have street lights and everything all around so there are no street lights so we have to find our way through headlight so hum log ja rahe the we took that right and then right dheere dheere pehle to theek tha and then while we were going going uh, the road start to get narrower and that's when mujhe thoda doubt hua but still map mein dekh raha hu aur 500 aur 1 km mein hum log highway mein touch karenge jo wo right nahi lete so that right that road was supposed to go straight and come like 10 kilometers back to that same point which this uh, path was connecting in a much shorter time so i said chal 1 kilometer hai to bhi uh, we can uh, go and connect that place but what happened us chakkar mein like as we were progressing the roads were getting more narrower and narrower and then at a point we uh, we came at a point jahan pe se patthar dikh rahe the so imagine it is all dark in front of you and all you could see is what jo headlight se aapko dikh raha hai and i could see uh, all i could see was stone to hum logo ko achanak se aise feeling aaya stone aur grass tha to sooke hue grass so hum logo ko aisa laga kahi hum log pahad to nahi chad rahe so that 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 was one of the crazy experiences you know and like after a point wo bhi par karke hum log jab aage ja rahe so there came a point where like sirf ek aadmi chal ke ja sakta hai waisa jagah tha aur baaki baju mein bahut bade bade grasses the like you know sooke hue grasses usse bhi gaye hum log and then came a point where ek rasta matlab jo jo chote raste the wo aise do mein split ho rahe the and exactly in the center we are standing now we have to decide which way to choose we took one गए हम लोग आगे एंड देन वी एंडेड अप इन नो मैन लैंड एंड आई मीन देर वॉज नो ट्रेस ऑफ लैंड नो ट्रेस ऑफ पाथ नो ट्रेस ऑफ वॉट वेयर वी आर गोइंग ऑल आई कुड हियर वॉज दो चिपिंग साउंड ऑफ क्रिकेट्स एंड दैट दैट वेरी मोमेंट आई आई वॉज सो स्केट आई वॉज रियली वेरी स्केट एंड एंड देन आई लुक अप एट द स्काई आई बट दैट मोमेंट आई डोंट नो वाई आई लुक अप एट द स्काई I looked up to the sky and then uh, I saw a very beautiful thing. The sky was so beautiful with so many stars. I've never seen so many stars in my lifetime. So, so and somehow I got that, you know, safe feeling that, you know, uh, I'm safe here. And uh, we just like relaxed for a while over there. and then we thought like what to do now and then we thought it's it's wise to go back and take the long route rather than you know like being hasty and like greedy for saving the time and you know like 1 km ke chakkar mein we might be roaming around till morning and it's it's a jungle out there so you don't know what you can encounter whom you can encounter in the jungle the lion jungle the lion sleeps tonight okay it's it's in the jungle in the lion in the mighty jungle the lion sleeps or something like that yeah boom bar up boom bar up boom bar up boom bar up something like that right so yeah so so that is what i was going to uh, was i was wanted to uh, wanted to share with you guys that never ever try to uh, take google for uh, you know at face value because google sometimes screws up because google doesn't know that what is uh, a safest option or if they have street lights there or uh, uh, it doesn't know more than uh, the humans so 
as in the locals so it's always preferable when you go there just try to ensure that if you're going on a path you have seen it on google just ensure you cross check it with the locals out there so if the locals if the locals say and if the locals say do not take that route don't take that route like i did so that's a lesson i uh, learned in this trip and uh, so yeah i just want to share this experience with you so that you guys when you come across such experiences please don't do that especially when you are with a woman or or a girl or your girlfriend or your sister or whomever you are with don't do that you know it's it's very scary and uh, and uh, more than scary uh, you you can get uh, into trouble so you never know you might get robbed and if you that that's uh, that, that's what i'm trying to tell you don't don't uh, you know like explore uh, those kind of things when you're especially on a bike and uh, no i i will prefer not even on a car so yeah so that was what what i wanted to tell you and that's about it i guess um, i'm done sharing all i wanted to and apart from that uh, i had an amazing time visiting malwan the food over there the host mr prashant and uh, the nature the fresh air everything was like uh, amazingly uh, awesome so i i can never forget these experiences in my life for me these moments are like uh, my precious jewels and uh, whenever i want to just like leave the live those moments i just close my eyes and think of it and i'm there so that's how it works for me and uh, i always wanted to live that way and i'm living that way right now and uh, so that's about it i guess i have done saying a lot about what i want to um i'll see you next time with some better place and better better things to talk about and uh, ensure that you guys are having a lovely experiences uh, lovely experiences along with me and until then you guys uh, have a safe uh, ride uh, and uh, please keep exploring keep learning uh, that's uh, that's a way to live and grow my friends and uh, uh, until then it's it's me here uh, arun from turn trails uh, saying goodbye to all you lovely people please like comment and subscribe to our channel turn trails until then uh, it's it's a goodbye from uh, turn trails to all you lovely people out there goodbye.